You've heard about it more and more, but you might have found it hard to believe. Satanists and other black magic users performing rituals, casting spells and curses against their enemies, even desecrating churches. The trend has swept across Europe and now threatens to spread in the US. And yes, it's a real enough concern that even secular media are warning the public. We are facing a global rise in the occult. But here's what you might not have heard. Along with occultism, the world is also seeing whole new levels of spiritual activity among Catholics. Why? Well, at least in part, it's the Catholics' way of responding to the growing darkness they see in the world around them. For example, when Satanists plan to hold a black mass at a bar in Norfolk, Virginia, a nearby Catholic parish scheduled a holy hour of reparation to spiritually combat it. This is our way of fighting back, a parish employee told the Catholic News Association. After the 2016 election, Huffington Post and several other media outlets reported on a 13,000-strong network of pro-choice witches who pledged to cast a spell against President Donald Trump once every month under the waning moon. In response, a priest named Father Richard Heilman pledged to lead his network of 50,000 Catholics in a monthly prayer for the protection of the president, the country, and the unborn. And you know, when many of the secular world struggle to deal with what seems to be an increase in spiritual oppression, demonic possession, and black curses, a surprising number of them turn to Catholics for help. That's why, as The Atlantic indicated in 2018, dioceses are now being flooded with thousands of requests for Catholic exorcists every year. So what you've heard is true. There has been a recent increase in dark spiritual activity around the world. But keep in mind the Catholic side of the story, too. After all, just because the devil is fighting, that doesn't mean he's winning. This has been an episode of CBTV. Subscribe to CBTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up.